Okay, so you should have this filled out already, but very quickly, this is how it goes. So I look at the number 40. The number 40, I know 1 times 40 is 40. I know that 2 times 20 is 40. 3 doesn't divide into 40. 4 divides into 40 gives me 10. Uh, 5. Oh, 5. I got to squeeze 5 and 8 in there. 40. 20, 10, 5, 8. There are my factors for 40. I do the same for 56. 1 times 56, 2 times 28, 3, 4 times 14, 4, 5, 4, 1, oh, I did 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, and 8. There are my factors for 56. My greatest common factor, the biggest number common between the two would be 8. GCF equals 8. Now, we can use this idea in word problems as well. So here's our problem. Two ribbons are 24 and 42 centimeters long. Each ribbon is to be cut into equal pieces, and all the pieces must have the same length, that is a whole number of centimeters. What is the greatest possible length of each piece? So here with these types of questions, the idea is being able to recognize whether you need to find greatest common factor or least common multiple, which we'll look, look at in the next section. So here we're looking for greatest common factor, in this case, the greatest common factor between 24 and 42. You know what? I'll do this one the other way because I did one one way, one the other way. So the greatest common factor of 24, I know it's 1 times 24. I know it's 2 times 12. I know it's 3 times 8. I know it's 4 times 6. There are my factors of 24. And then I do 42. 42 is 1 times 42, it's 2 times 21, uh, 3 times 14, 4, 5, 6 times 7. There are my factors for uh, 42. Looking for the greatest common factor between the two, and it is, drum roll please, 6. So what does that tell us? That means that the biggest piece that we can cut each of them into would be 6 centimeters.